All right, guys, I'm going to do my version of a cheap man's uh, steak and cheese sandwich tonight. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with this onion. Chop them in half. You've seen it before. You don't have to have real small slices for this. Just chop them up. I'm not a gourmet chef, so I can't do that chick, 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 chick stuff. Now what you want to do is just break it up, like you've seen before in other videos. Break it all up. Oop, almost lost a piece. Got him. Now, they're pretty much all broke up. Now we'll take them over here to the hot pan, skillet, or whatever. I've already got some oil sitting in there, so we're going to go ahead and stand this to it. <clears throat> it's not quite up to heat yet, so let's turn the heat up a little bit. Toss those around. Which more, whichever ones ain't broke up yet will break up here in this heat. Go ahead and uh, add a little salt, a little pepper, give it a good stir around, make sure everything's oiled up, every bit of those onions get a little oil on them. Cheap eating, cheap eating. Now we're gonna cover it. Let those onions do their thing. And I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay guys, these little steaks that you guys see me cook, you know, every now and then, they're just little uh, vacuum packed. They're not, you know, they're real small. Like here's my hand, I can cover it. Look at there. And uh, you can buy a bunch of these at, uh, well actually these came from Walmart. A big box of 20 of them, you know, cost like 20, I think it was like 22 or 23 dollars for like 20 of them. So <laughs> it's not really expensive. I like meat a lot. So actually, these were actually, I didn't even buy these. These were donated to the cause. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut this open. Take him out of this little plastic sleeve here. Just laying there like that. Throw this away. We don't need it. Go ahead and get some uh, salt. A little salt and pepper. Go ahead and salt this side. Now let's go ahead and pepper him up a little bit. Flip him over like always. Go ahead and add some pepper. Oh, not too much. Add a little bit more salt. Not a whole lot. Now. now what I'm going to do, since I'm going to make steaks, cheese steak, poor boys, cheese steak sandwich, <laughs> and what I mean by poor boys, I don't mean P-O, I mean P-O-O-R, poor boys sandwiches. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut these, or cut this pretty thin, I'm going to start just like right down the, the edge. I just sharpened this knife, so I'm hoping it's going to do me well. Oh, yeah. See how thin that is? Go ahead. The more you cut, the more pieces you'll have, I guess. Just keep on. Like I said, it's not a very big steak at all. It won't take long to go through this. Cut it up. Nice little slices. <coughs> you don't you don't you don't really want real thick cut slices on your on your sandwich. So 
so I don't have any expensive uh, fresh bread or anything. I just want to cut that fat off and throw him away. I've got regular old uh, household white bread, but I'll show you what I'll do with it in a few minutes. And cut him up a little bit. This little piece here. I'm hoping the camera's picking this up. I can't tell what the camera's looking at or what I'm looking at or whatever. All right, so we got some pretty long strips. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this around and I'm just going to cut it not that piece, but once, right there in the center here. That way it'll just be smaller pieces for your sandwich because like I said, I don't have the long French bread or the fancy stuff to go with this, so I'm just going to use regular white loaf bread. And uh, when I get ready to cook this, or when the onions get finished, I'll be back. All right, the onions have done their thing. I got them, uh, and some paper towel here just to drain some of that grease off. So now, the steak you saw me cut up earlier, I want to put that steak in the same pan as I had the onions in. A little steak residue. Okay. Give those a little breathing room. Make sure each individual piece gets a little attention. All right. Now that stays cooking. I'm going to bring you over here. Hang on, I'm going to clean some of this mess up. Set you right here. Now I've got two pieces of this regular white sliced or loaf bread. Let me get some. Hang on one second. Damn. All right, let me get me a, a spoon will do. Just get some butter, margarine, whatever you want, and spread it on one side. That's all you need, just on one side, not both of them. We're not making grilled cheese here. A little bit more. If I'm in frame or not. Now that's all you want to do. Just a little bit of butter or margarine on each one of your pieces of bread there. And take a little garlic salt. <clears throat> now don't take much. Just put just a little bit of garlic salt right on top of that. Damn, I ain't got no light in here. Alright, that's plenty. That's plenty. Alright, put a little garlic salt on salt on the same side as you did those uh the butter and margarine on then hang on one second we'll walk over here now on a different pan skillet whatever you want to call it i've got the heat turned on let's see there's the steak i want to focus Anyway, over here's the bread. I've got it laying face down in the skillet. I, uh, it's not hot yet. I just turned it on. I should have turned it on earlier. <laughs> but anyway, when that gets uh, good and brown on that one side, I'm going to take it off. The butter with the garlic sauce is going to be really good. It's going to give a good brown crisp. I hear my steak over here. He's, he's hollering at me. So let's take a look at him. It's pretty thin, so it don't take a whole lot to cook it. Just put them all over. Everybody knows how to cook steak or meat or whatever. 
Make sure both sides are done. This is so thin, you know, it don't take a whole lot of time to do it. I actually wish I cut this a little thinner. All right. Everybody slipped over, so once the steak is, is finished and the bread is done, Brandon over there, I'll get back to you. Alrighty, the bread is done, the steak is done. You see this nice brown crust? Just on one side. The other side's still white, just on one side. And you want that pointing up. So now add your steak. The steak is still pretty warm. Kind of even it out. It'll take a whole lot to make a sandwich. Let's put one more. Now, before I put the onions, I'm going to put a piece of cheese. <coughs> it's just a regular old piece of American cheese. Use what you got around the house. And that steak's still hot, so that cheese is going to melt real quick. Now, I'm going to put some of these nice onions right on top of it. A little bit more. Lost one. Man, whatever. Set these over here. Make sure everything's turned off. All right, now all you do is flip them over. Give them a good little smash. Not real hard. You can hear the crunch of the bread. Mmm. Plate him up. Take a taste of this onion. And there you go. A cheap poor man's steak, onion, and cheese sandwich. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.